Our meditation today is on Kaivalya Upanishad, verse number 10. Kaivalya Upanishad is a very, very important Upanishad to understand because it has got the same type of reasoning. It also analyzes the three prapanchas, Jagrat, Swapna and uh, Sushupti, and then it arrives at a conclusion. Kaivalya Upanishad, the 10th verse, Sarva, sarva Bhutas Tamatmanam, Sarva Bhutani Chakmani, Sampashan Brahma Param, Yati Nanena Ketuna. And uh, this is repeated in the sixth chapter, I think, work number 29, 30, and 31. You can go back and refer to it. Uh, uh, Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, sixth chapter, uh, 28, 29, 30. Just go through this. And uh, the verses there are uh, uh, very similar to this. And uh, Sarva Bhutas Chatmanam, Sarva Bhutani Chatmani. Uh, yeah, it is, the, uh, it is the 29th verse, 30th verse, and 31st verse. They are similar to this verse of Kaivalya Upanishad. And all these three verses talk about some other in Gita and here also. How does one get Samatvam in life? Equanimity, balance of mind, how does one keep calm all the time? It is only when you come to Upanishad, understand the Turiya Atma as the absolute reality. Experiencing our own Atma, the Self, as the Self of all the beings, one attains Turiya Atma. Kaivalya Upanishad is saying this. We have just now seen Mandukya Upanishad. Understanding Turiya Atma, I know that that is the substratum of this entire universe. So experiencing our own self, as this entire Jagat is the only means to understand the reality universe. Beautiful verse. These, the Kaivalya Upanishad mantras are extremely important and very direct. See, it also gives a, a, a direct uh, realization of the self. On awakening from the dream, we realize that the entire dream was an expression of my own mind. Isn't it true? Every time when you wake up in the morning, immediately what do you recognize? Oh, the, I had a good dream or bad dream. But whatever it is, it was my own mind only projecting. Same thing you will say when you stand on Turiyam, the spiritual self, there there is no world. And how do you arrive at the spiritual self? I am not the waker. I am not the dreamer. I am not the sleeper, but I am Turiyam Adhishtanam. In the Turiya Adhishtanam, the entire waking world of objects and beings are all merged in the self. It is called as Abhyaktam. Sleep state is Abhyakta Avastha. But Turiyam is Abhyakta Vastu, in which there is no dream. It is completely, it is independently existing. Jnani experiences the play of self, the play of Turiya, in the plurality of the waking world. Like a waking waker experiences the play of waker in the plurality of the dream world. And after he has woken up, he never forgets this 
forgets what he never forgets that the dream is mithya similarly when you wake up to turiya atma and understanding the seventh karika of the second chapter which you did very well today you also will feel oh god the entire waking state is a projection of ishvara as per the prarabdha karma sanchita karma that is the artificial intelligence which is embedded in the in the system it is going on as per some program that program we cannot ask we are a part of that program there is oneness in the macrocosm and there is oneness in the microcosm microcosm nothing but it is the macro macrocosm is nothing but the microcosm nyani has liquidated his egocentric individuality in the atma kathopanishad again and again i get reminded of this swami chinmayananda says this he says in that kathopanishad mantra neha nana asti kinchana he says very beautifully what does he say he gives a formula for us to understand what is this self the formula or equation is god or the jiva minus his ego is equal to god jiva minus ego the iness which is there identification with the body that is called as ego as a waker dreamer sleeper drop this ego jiva is god or brahman or turiyam that turiyam that turiyam plus the ego is the jiva so no turiyam or brahman or atma by itself you are you have transcended but suppose you include in that turiyam the ego waker dreamer sleeper then you become a jeev okay let's close our eyes and try and meditate on this beautiful verse <clears throat> keep your spine erect because if you bend your spine you will tend to go to sleep but keeping the spine erect your mind is awake i discover myself as turiya atma the pure consciousness or awareness when i study the upanishads the self in me is called atma the self in the universe is called param atma superior self in the waking state my sense organs are functioning the mind is functioning i experience dvaitam duality and plurality experience of duality is because of the functioning of the mind with the sense organs
in dream state the sense organs have become passive the mind projects dvaita in the sleep state i don't experience any bird it is a state of avidya ignorance i remember the nature of these three states again and again in my mind the body made up of gross elements is inert insentient in dream the subtle body is insentient by itself made up of subtle elements the sentiency in the body is borrowed sentiency in the waking state dream state and the sleep state by the study of upanishads i am able to separate the sentient consciousness turiya which exists independent content of the self in the body is consciousness awareness the content of the self of the universe is the observing principle paramatma which is again consciousness paramatma as a superior upadi medium of transaction jivatma has got a limited body and has limited transactions the self in both jivatma and paramatma is advaita atma awareness 
इस एकम अद्वैतम प्रपंचा इस द्वैतम बट डिपेंडेंट हेंस कॉल्ड एस मिथ्या सर्वस्त भूत आत्मानं सर्वभूतानि आत्मनि All the beings exist in the self and the self expresses as the universe. There is oneness in this universe from the observer angle, consciousness angle. I have understood this oneness as Turiya Atma. This is called Jeevan Mukti. Oh. 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 Amada. Oh. Namidam. Purnat Purnamudachade Purnasya Purnamathaya Purnameva Sishade Om Shanti 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 Gently open your eyes.